Aros, this is your channel messages for the 5th of November. I'm your host, Vanessa Carby, psychic medium, spiritual practitioner, and tarot reader. Taros, your channel message is King of Cups. Someone is on your side and wants to see you win, right? Mo's getting somewhat, me getting so, a King of Cups, me getting is a Kenta Pisces Scorpio man. No, this man is very, very shy. Or the man don't get eye contact. Me getting a meet this man or the man stumble upon you and me getting, me getting someone who wants to win. Somebody out there want chance. But me getting like somebody I think about your situation and it's like them gonna cry. Literally, it's like tears come at them eye. Them like, how, how could this person be in this situation for so long and nobody did anything about it? I'm getting a king of cups will help you. Somebody's on your side. Somebody, I won't say that they're fighting for you because they may have a wife. But I will say that they are keeping an extra eye on the case to make sure so everything goes smoothly, okay? I'm getting someone literally like in tears because they can't believe that, whoa, all along this is what was happening. Um, I have a channel song for you. I cannot find a karaoke or anything, so you're going to have to copyright me, and that's okay. So here's your channel song, Taros. Uh oh, uh oh, by ghost. She finds me. Oh, oh, I love you, baby. Anyway, I never thought you thanks. I never thought. I wanna be things like those to make you go away. I know your friends been telling you a lot of things about me. What was I to do? And then, and then, I know a lot of guys out there wanna go out with you and I. Doing what you're born to do, and I love you, and I miss you, and you pursue doing what you're born to do. Yeah, I hope you pursue doing what you're born to do, Taros. Just know that, and I miss you that you pursue doing what you're born to do. You know you never find another girl like me. I am the one who control your destiny. Don't mess with me. I never bought your fancy cars. I never bought your chocolate or rose. I wonder if things like those that made you go away. And their friends be telling you a lot of things about me. What was I to do? Oh, Taurus, I love you and I wish you that you pursue doing what you're born to do. Yeah. Taurus, one thing about Taurus. Taurus are the type of people that will make you pursue what you're born to do even if they love you. Taurus will watch you marry somebody who you claim say you love even though they know that they could have loved you better. Taurus are unbothered like that, but Taurus are also willing to live with a life of guilt. That's how Taurus stay. And you'll never know. So I'm getting, um, first of all, someone misses you. And I'm getting whether, you, they don't know if you're going to see you again, but somebody wants to tell you that um, they wish that you pursue doing what you're born to do. Someone did not want to distract you from what you thought you were born to do. And somebody did not want to interfere with it if you did not already know how to budget your time properly. So again, I love you and I miss you. And I hope you pursue doing what you're born to do. Yeah. Let's go. So if he's not buying a chocolate or a rose, send for fuck off. Corvette, convenient Corvette store sell roses for about six dollars. These niggas can't even buy any. Let's go ahead and go into your soulmate reading. 
Who is your soulmate, Taurus? Who the fuck is it? Oh, we have the Three of Pentacles. I'm getting into Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I'm also getting you're going to be working with this person. Are you going to meet them at work? Where will you meet them? I think you're going to meet them at work, but I could be wrong. You're going to meet them at work. I told you. I'm getting you meeting them at work. I'm getting you having an issues with payment, some type of payment processing application. I'm getting you with on pay. Maybe you're going to HR's office and you meet this person for the first time. What do you two have in common? The ten, both of y'all stress the fuck out at work. Maybe it's a three-way business deal. So I'm getting you in a partnership with this person, but all on the stress of fuck. I'm getting all on can't handle stress well. So you don't yell at each other or say it's your fault, it's your fault. I'm getting both of them have really good temperaments. What issues do you have to overcome? The fool card. I'm getting, you know, I'm getting even though both of y'all have good temperaments, meaning that you don't get irated easily, when you can both act aloof as well, like when you don't care. Like, you know, fuck this, man. If this, you know what? If I wake up tomorrow and come into office and this fails, I don't even care. There's no sex here, but me getting your work with this person. Remember, soulmate don't have to be somebody you're sleeping with. It could be a friend who, like your best friend, a, a, a family member who you're just very, very close with. So when me getting somebody at your workplace, both on a stress, but when both of y'all are at work, it makes the stress easier for deal with. Um... We're getting both on a very aloof as well. They don't really share feelings that much, okay? Um, what relationship did you share in a past life? The Hermit card. It was a secret. I'm getting nobody knew that you guys had a relationship in a past life. It was secrecy. Maybe when it was co-workers, so it's under oath. And they will say that it's conflict of interest. If it was your co-worker. On a way, when you try to stop, man, Willie? Really? Your co-worker is hot as... And you're trying to tell me if I deal with my co-worker. Oh, why not want to have to resign? You want to be in a relationship. Why not want to have to resign? Um, sir, if the boss was sexually harassing me, nobody would be resigning. Telling me I can't have my co-worker. Why I can't have my co-worker, officer? Officer, why me can't have my co-worker? Mm? We are both legal. We are both consensual adults. And both of us can leave from the cooking session and go to work. Why I can't have my co-worker? Hmm? No, the boss is in the cleaning lady. Hmm? Every time she go in the office and clean. Hmm? No, the boss was asking the cleaning lady to him dig right underneath him desk. So why I can't have my co-worker? You, 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 you so... Skin that my see, I'm a co worker going mash up your fucking company. Hmm? That's the what the sorry, that's what the fuck you're saying to me. Hmm? You're telling me that because the way how my stay and the way how my co worker is stay so intelligent when two of your business are gonna mash up. And that's you tell me one dick, one vagina gonna mash up your blood clot business. Ten years of Harvard Business School, but you know, I'm a, a co worker. Why? For why? Suppose me and my co-worker want to be together. Hmm? Dirty fucker. Yeah, it's talking about conflict of interest. It's not conflict of interest, sir. Do you want me to be at King McDonald's by being with a fucking Wendy's employee? Hmm? Or you want me to stay with the royal, stay within the family and their fucking their cousins? So why I can't? Why can I not? My co-worker, he's nice to me. Hmm? You're telling me I can't work. The fucking queen is... The, the British is fucking them cousins for royalty. So why I can't fuck my co-worker? I don't understand this. You're getting nobody knew you had a relationship. That's good though. How can I deepen the relationship? The six of pentacles. So I'm getting on a need for work on a project outside of work. I'm getting the only time when it's together is at work. We need to get into contact with each other after work. We feel like there's some type of second business or voluntary opportunity coming in. Because somebody could be stressed out because, yeah, they see you at work, but they always have to be working. But we're getting a work in close proximity with them and they're just like, look on you every day and you're like, oh my God. Um, but again, the song that says, I, I, I wish you um, doing what you're born to do. So maybe somebody had to leave you and make you, maybe somebody had to let you go from the company and make you do what you're born to do. Maybe you were tied into a contract, the contract expire now. I'm getting them a dead card, the more you renew it. You go, we went ghost. I'm getting right now, you're going to do what you're born to do. <laughs> we have Capricorn and we have the sun. Somebody has sun in Capricorn. Or somebody have something something in the tent house. Something is in the tent house. We have trust no one. 
We have meditation. And we have Leo. We have Capricorn, the Sun, and Leo. Until next time, bye.